high grace. Thank you, Sophia. Hello, everybody. I can do all kinds of things for elderly people. 10 Female Robots That Can Walk and Talk, Part 2 It's no secret that humanoid robots excite us to no end. Let's take a look at the latest female humanoid robots that can walk and talk. Number 10. Little Sophia Remember Sophia? Developed by Hanson Robotics, the Hong Kong-based company. She is a sophisticated humanoid robot with the ability to see, sustain contact, follow faces, and identify individuals. Sophia was turned on, not born, in February 2016, just a month after she was presented to the world. Soon after, as she became the world's first robot citizen and even featured on Jimmy Fallon show. With so much popularity, Sophia was unable to meet and greet her fans around the world. And guess what? Some of those fans wanted her for themselves too. So, we have the little Sophia now. Yes, she is her younger sister. Developed by the developers of Sophia, Little Sophia is a humanoid and is expected to be available for pre-order soon. She is 14 inches tall and makes learning STEM, artificial intelligence, and coding easy. She is a great companion for kids older than 8 years. She is a child that can talk, walk, and tell jokes. She provides a safe learning experience with robots. Number 9. Ameka Ameka is touted as the most advanced humanoid robot in the world, representing the forefront of humanoid robotics. In a video shared in December 2021 by its creator, the British company Engineered Arts, it can be seen that the robot is warming up its shoulder before opening its eyes and expressing a shock look. The robot can even blink and appears to observe its arms, admiring the combination of its mechanical limb, ligaments, sensors, and actuators. Its facial expressions certainly look realistic, and the team's next step will be to make it walk around. Number 8. Serena 4 Serena 4 is a fourth-gen humanoid in a series of Iranian humanoid robots, which were unveiled in December 2019. The humanoid is 1.7 meters tall with a mass of 68 kilograms. It is an adult-sized robot capable of performing upper and lower body movements and interact with the host. She is capable of object and face detection, moves on rough surfaces, follows objects and faces, and writes and performs some exhibitive actions as well. The humanoid robot has advanced features, offers better performance and reliability when compared to the previous three models in the series. Number 7. Pepper SoftBank Robotics Pepper till then was designed to be a friendly receptionist or even nanny. But come 2020, Pepper became equipped with an educational integrated development environment called Tethys, created to teach students how to code. Using the software, students can program the humanoid to move, talk, and show different messages on its screen, all in real time. Research also shows promising positive therapeutic impacts of robot interaction with children diagnosed with autism. The University of Southern California team put a socially assistive robot, called Kiwi, in the homes of 17 autistic children to personalize teaching. By the end of the month, all the children had improved their math skills, while 92% had also improved their social skills. Number 6. Valkyrie at first sight, Valkyrie looks not unlike Iron Man, the glowing circle on her chest marking her status, blue when motors are engaged, for example. But draw back the infrared transparent faceplate and, instead of Tony Stark, you'll find a whirring LiDAR sensor that's constantly scanning the surroundings for objects and obstacles. Cameras and sensors abound on Valkyrie, in addition to a multi-sense SL camera on her head, which combines laser, 3D stereo, and video to get a sense of the environment around her. Additional hazard cameras look ahead and behind from her torso. On each three-fingered hand, 38 sensors help maintain dexterity. Numerous small motors, actuators in engineer speak, control the robot's 44 degrees of freedom, including seven jointed arms. The brains of the robot are two Intel Core i7 computers, which combine the sensor's input and determine the best course of action. And, while testing is generally done with a power cord in place, Valkyrie also has a battery pack that's good for about an hour. All of that sensing, computing, and moving will be essential to Valkyrie's future mission on Mars. While NASA initially developed Valkyrie, or as she was initially called R5 for disaster relief, in 2014, the agency changed course to reconfigure her for deep space. Number 5. Nina The name Nina means strong, which seems a great fit for this ultra-cute robot. 
She might be human-shaped, but she definitely can't pass, and for many, that's what makes her so appealing. The little robot that could, rather than future Terminator-style takeover. Smarts-wise, she can move her jaw, lips, and has 50 motors that can be activated. Deep learning means she can self-correct from any missteps and is working on using eye contact as a communication device. She can also be controlled by an engineer who uses a VR headset to step behind her eyes, a remote controller that is part of her training. Number 4. Grace The Hong Kong-based robotics firm Hanson Robotics has unveiled its latest invention, Grace, a humanoid robot it hopes will revolutionize healthcare. Designed as an assistant for doctors, Grace is equipped with sensors, including a thermal camera to detect a patient's temperature and pulse to help doctors diagnose illness and deliver treatments. The android is a companion for patients, too. Specializing in senior care, Grace speaks three languages, English, Mandarin, and Cantonese, and can socialize and conduct talk therapy. Robots like Grace are intended as a support for medical professionals rather than a replacement, says Hanson Robotics founder and CEO David Hanson. Using AI and robotics in this context can help gather important data for healthcare providers to assess the well-being of the patient, he adds. Number 3. The Kodomoroid Named after the Japanese word for child, Komodo, this girl-slash-woman hybrid was designed in Japan and can perform a number of simple tasks such as reading the news and explaining scientific topics. She can speak in a number of voices and languages, including a male voice and motors in her body make her face move realistically when she speaks. Currently, she works at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, and you can get her to give you directions or read you the weather when you visit. Number 2. Saya A new Japanese celebrity recently burst onto the scene, but Saya was a different kind of star because she is the product of a Tokyo computer lab. And like all parents, her creators have big ambitions for her, writes the BBC's Yvette Tan. I think I've seen her somewhere, or she looks like someone I know, or what people usually say when they see Saya, says Yuka Ishikawa, one half of the husband and wife graphic artist team behind Saya. When the couple first posted pictures of the hyper-realistic schoolgirl online, it was a revelation about what can be achieved with computer design. Her slightly askew school tie, heavily fringed hair, freckled skin, and teenage pout left thousands trying to work out whether or not she was a real person. Since then, the couple have spent a year perfecting their creation, re-sculpting and molding her face, and have now released a new and improved version of the schoolgirl. Saya has come a long way since her birth. In order to make her more human, we have been reworking her from head to toe, Mrs. Ishikawa explains. Number 1. Showa Hanako 2 Going to the dentist is something that we all have to do. Going to a novice dentist and his or her drill is something that most of us would rather avoid, but they have to practice somewhere. Luckily for us, researchers at Showa, a Japanese university, have been working on a solution to this thorny issue. They have created a robot, the Showa Hanako 2, that is able to not only mimic the kind of movement, but is also able to blink, flinch, sneeze, cough, and gag simulating some of the issues that a real dentist may have to contend with while working on his or her human patients. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.